Alright, so let me go over to Ableton Live and we've got this remix we're working on, but I'm just going to start a new set. Don't save because savings for voices that don't think they can redo it even better, which is what we're going to do right now. We're going to make the best DJ setup and you're right here to witness it. Okay, so on track one, doesn't matter where we're getting our audio from, but I'm going to go up here to our effects, which are under audio effects. We're going to get this three channel EQ. We're going to drag this onto track one. Now, we're going to set these each to zero, zero, and zero. This is where the low frequency cuts off. This is where the high frequency cuts off. Now, we're going to go ahead and copy this onto track two, onto track three, and track four. All right. Now, we're going to set these to auto. We're going to set all of them to auto. It doesn't matter where the audio is coming in from. Normally, it's set to external by default, but we're going to use this for DJing, so. Now we're going to go up here to key. We're going to deactivate the keyboard. We're going to set this to key. We're going to go in here and make it so that pressing number four will mute the bass, be the bass kill for track four. Pressing number three will be the bass kill for track three. Pressing number two will be the bass kill for track two. And one for number one. So, when we deactivate key, now if I press number one, it turns off the bass and on the bass for number one. And same with number two and three and four. So, now I'm going to go in here, actually I'm going to go into the track browser and find some music. And uh, I'm just going to load it in here, a couple tracks. This is what you're going to do when you're preparing your set. So, you're just going to find the tracks that you know you want to play. You can drag them in there. You can also come over to your iTunes. I was just pressing Apple tab to switch from the programs. Switch between whatever programs are running. So I can go into iTunes here and find a track that I know I want to play. And then I can just drag it straight into the audio launch view. Okay, so while that's loading, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add some special effects to my sends. So right now there's a delay on send one. I'm going to go ahead and put a funky chorus on top of that just for fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw a flanger onto, oh, it didn't work. you got to just click on it and drag it over, and I'm going to put it on number, on the, the B send, a little flanger, there's also a reverb, so that means when I turn up A, it's going to send whatever's coming through that track to that send A, the ping pong and the chorus, so that's the delay, echo, and the chorus effect. So, this is a track that I've pre-aligned to the beat, so when I zoom in, it's already totally starting right on the, the beat, pretty much, I can move it up a little bit, and you can see here that it's 25 beats per minute. We can check it by going deep further into the track and seeing that the the lines are still lined up with the beats. Alright, so that's looking good. So we can play this track. Now it's 97.47 beats per minute right now. So it's way too slow for this dance track. I'm go ahead and speed it up to about 120 or 130. Click 
there and I'm pressing the up arrow key on my keyboard. Now I can click off of that and go to track 2. I'm going to go down here and bring this over to the first beat. We want that 9 to line up with that first beat there, so we're going to move it over. And I'm just, I clicked on the, on the 1 over here, and then when I'm zoomed in, I can press to the left. Um, it won't go any further to the left, so what I need to do is, I'm actually just going to bring this 1 right over here to where it gets good. It says it's 127 beats per minute. I have a feeling that's right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to track 2. I press shift tab, switch to this view. I'm going to mute the bass by pressing number 2. Now, I'm going to start it right before the beat. 1, 2, 3, start. I've never heard this combination of tracks before. Whenever I want to, I can press 1 and 2 to switch the bases of the two tracks. Thank you very much. Hope you've learned something valuable.